here's uh, a new initiative that um, okay, we're looking for people who have uh, courage and who have vision and who have chutzpah. Uh, and uh, S.G. Vijayan is one of these people. Uh, uh, he, uh, you know, he, I, uh, we came, came into contact with him through mutual, uh, um, uh, through other officers in uh, WCPA. And he understood our vision. And he's the head of an organization called Healing Earth that has all kinds of resources for uh, uh, planting trees. They have a mandate to plant millions of trees in India in the next few years. He says in the next five years they're going to have all these trees planted. So, so Healing Earth, right it perfectly in line with the sustainability goals of the Earth Constitution, which say that the Earth not only needs to be protected, but it needs to be restored because it's degraded so seriously. So uh, he has uh, offered, and we have sent him a certificate recognizing him officially as the world as the uh, world government minister of the environment. And so Healing Earth, his organization, is now a governmental organization working. It's uh, the Ministry of the Environment, uh, which is recognized by the Constitution, uh, working uh, uh, to restore and plant the earth. So if we, you know, part of our, you can see part of our strategy for the future is to get people and organizations to realize that they, that they can take on governmental responsibility. Not, they're not just NGOs who have to say, oh, give me legal permission from my government to raise funds, and I promise not to do anything political, and so on. We don't have to do that, right? We're, we're creating the future of the planet, and these legal organizations called nation states don't have the legitimacy, the moral or, or right to, to prevent us from doing that. So, uh, uh, you know, this is, this is from a letter uh, that he wrote to me, that Vijayan uh, BJ wrote to me. He says, I understand we both agree on conceptual points of WCPA and Healing Earth, both working toward the same goal. And I have done my homework to study all aspects of the first activity of tree plant plantation and to manage all the resources to complete it. This includes building a strong network of persons, of humans. I will read all the literature of WCPA and the Earth Federation a few more times, but for now I'd like to share the implementation part of Healing Earth and how I plan to go forward and associate it with WCPA. <laughs> so the, uh, the other thing, uh, is you all know is we've held sessions of the Provisional World Parliament. And this has, this probably had, it's the thing we've done most with. We've held 14 sessions so far in a number of different countries. And it has, I think, the most potential uh, to attract interest of people because all over you pe say people, who, you know, go online, you, say pe you see people who are saying, we need a world parliament, holding up signs and so on. It's all over the place on this planet. And if we can uh, focus the attention of all these people who are calling for a world parliament to the fact that you can't have a world parliament without a constitution, right? You just can't just, like Gary Davis tried to do, you just can't create government with the World Service Authority without the whole framework which makes government effective and possible, and uh, gives it makes the decision making process on laws and how they're implemented and how they're enforced and all the rest of it. And uh, uh, so, yeah, this is this is has real potential. And uh, uh, we've had uh, some sessions of the parliament have been quite successful, and other sessions. Uh, disappointing, 
And uh, it seems to me that the disappointing sessions are counterproductive because if we're if we're saying we're the emerging world government, and you have you know uh, 70 people show up uh, and uh, from only 10 countries, it doesn't really say much about uh, representing 7 billion people on this planet. But we've had some pretty significant ones. These are two of them. Uh, the second session was in India in uh, uh, 1985, and it was opened by Zyle Singh, the then president of India. This is him. This Prime is no, he was president. No, what I'm saying is, it was opened by President Michelle Singh, but Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi is also up on the dice, as well as two or three other members of the parliament, and I think that's in, uh, Savitri Nigam, uh, uh, Congresswoman uh, uh -huh. of, of the Indian Lok Sabha, the, the lower house, uh, speaking. Uh, Good, but, yeah. yeah. So it was... It was, and it was held, the opening session was held at the famous Constitution Club of India, which is a huge, elegant place in New Delhi where the Constitution of India itself was signed. So everybody in India knows about this place and so on. It got great press, it was, it was widely known. And if we had kept holding parliaments like this, uh, the, the whole, things would be very different now, but it, it didn't work out that way. This, uh, I just want to say uh, yeah. congratulations to get the president and the prime minister of a major country like India up on the dais for your, yeah. you know, organization's parliament. That is just an amazing achievement you made. Yes. And, and several members of the Indian uh, Senate and Congress, the Lok Sabha Congress. And we're, so the next one, as I'll mention in a moment, is scheduled for India again, and we're hoping uh, we, we've got contacts with these high officials, with uh, Modi, Prime Minister Modi, and the president, current president of India, and we're hoping we can get the government of India. See, it's got, in these days, it saw itself as the leader of the non-aligned movement and, and had a vision of world peace, right? Now, you know, but like all many governments, it's been colonized by the uh, big corporations by the U.S. has tremendous influence there now in India, and it they don't have the government doesn't have such a clear vision of the need for peace. Right? The first prime minister Nehru was a world federalist, and he said we need world government. Right? But slowly it's it's been transformed because we have a world that is dominated by these forces, these undemocratic forces. Um, but uh, we're working. We're working on it for the next one.